Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Matt tonight, and I'm here with Bandit, who is one of the members of the Stuff is United for Christ Scouting Adventure. They asked me to teach them about courage tonight. That was the member we their moral values or their uh, is uh, courage, accountability, respect, excellence, and service. And, uh, and they wanted me to teach them tonight about courage. And so, uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, and um, my lesson about courage is coming from 1 Samuel 17 about David, who is a shepherd boy. Bandit here is playing David. And as you can see here, he has a couple of shepherd, the little lambs that he's taking care of. And see, David grew up being a shepherd boy, which meant that he had to learn how to do things. He had to learn how to take care of sheep, had to learn how to keep them out of trouble. And as he did that, he learned to have courage and he learned to grow. And so that's what he's doing here. He's showing us him taking care of lambs. Um, our lamb here on the left, we're going to call him Bubba. And the lamb on the right, which is this guy, he's Thelam. I'll let you figure out that name. And see, David was so good about what he did that the sheep was always protected in his family. Uh, even his little, he was only a little boy when he did this. Uh, so, uh, so David was just a small boy. They think he was 14 years old. But it took a lot of, he had to build courage to be able to take care of the sheep. And you know what happened? One time, a lion came along uh, and he actually got a hold of one of the sheep like this. And he is carrying him off. And you know what, Bandit? David went and he got a hold of that lion. And he knocked him down. And he beat him up. And took the lamb out of his mouth. And he saved Bubba. And that is what he said he did one time. And then he said another time, a bear came uh, to attack the sheep. And this guy here, his name is Logos. And he's going to play our bear tonight. And Bandit... Uh, who's playing David, saw, saw Logos get a hold of Bubba again, and he jumped right in there, there, and pow! And that was the end of him. So David had learned how to get courage on how to take care of animals that was a whole lot bigger than him, who wanted to eat the lambs, but he wouldn't let him do it. He saved Bubba, and he saved Thelam. Well, one day what happened was, was that David left his sheep in the care of other people, and he went to go see his brothers who was in a big army. But there was this, there was this other army that was fighting, and they had a big, huge giant. And so when he went to go see this, this big, huge giant, this big old guy here is our giant, was going, who are you? He says, just wanted you to come down and fight me. And he says, if you win, we'll serve you. If you, we win, you serve us. Because your God is dumb. And your God is nothing. And the Bible tells us that all, all of Israel was afraid of this guy. And for some reason, none of them wanted to go take them on. And these were strong soldiers. And these soldiers knew what they were doing. But David, he had courage. And he, had, and he went, he said, I'll take this guy on. And he, they said, yeah, but David, you, you, know, you don't have armor. Put on this armor. I, I can't use armor. I can't use a sword. Because you know what David used out there in the field? He used a slingshot. And that was just a, 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 just a long rope. And with a little pocket on the end, he put a stone in there. And, woo, 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 and whap. And that's how he chased off dangerous animals sometimes. And David said, I'll go do it. And the king said, King Saul said, you can't do that. He said, listen to me. He said, uh, I killed a lion. And one time I grabbed him by the beard and pow. And that was the end of him. And I took Bubba back. And then, I, and then when the bear came, he said, I, I took care of the bear too. He says, if I could take care of them, I could take care of this guy. So I'll tell you what happened. David went down there with no armor, no sword, no nothing, just his staff. And a slingshot, and he had these rocks. And Bandit was here. The Philistine was here. And the Philistine was like, you dumb. And you know what? I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to feed you to the birds in the air. And I'll tell you what David said. No, he says, 
you're the one who's going to die because I'm going to take your head off and I'm going to feed you to the bears because I'm here defending the Lord and, and not you. And so they got into the fight. David went woof, woof, woof with the slingshot, smacked Goliath, boom, in the head. And then he cut his head off, boom, like this. And he went, no more giants. And that is how David let his courage build and grow. Now, you know what, kids and everybody, I'm not telling you that that's what you're going to go out and do is kill a giant with a, with a, uh, with slingshots or anything like that. But you know what? God told us to get courage. And God told us to have strength. And you know, and David, he was going to go back and take care of his lambs like Bubba and uh, Thelen. But the, the king said, no, you're staying with me now, he says, because you're part of my army. He said, that was incredible. And the Israelites won that day because one person learned how to build courage and do the right thing. So that's my story about courage tonight. We'll all give Bandit a hand. Good job, Bandit. Uh, and good job, Bubba. He saved Bubba. And Thelem, he was okay anyways. If you ever want to know who Thelem's name stands, you just get a hold of me. And that's how courage happens. You take small steps, you learn to grow, and you do bigger steps, and you do bigger steps. And then one day when that big thing that's going to scare you, you'll be like, I'm not going to be afraid of this because I learned how to have courage. So that's our lesson about courage tonight. And uh, we give uh, bear, all the bears a great hand. Uh, Peg, Foo Foo, Star, and Patches are behind me uh, who watch this lesson. And, <laughs> and that's what we've done. And, oh, and, and just for a disclaimer, no bears were actually hurt in this, uh, the filming of this. They're all just fine. So they're made all really good actors. We, and we give them all a thumbs up and a clap too. Anyways, this is Matt coming to you from Stuff He's United for Christ um, as their scoutmaster. And that was our lesson tonight about courage. Y'all have a good night.